The arts and life are not two separate things where life is real and the arts are imaginary. Instead, they are constantly supporting each other. I want to expand on that idea in this episode. In particular, the techniques of writing you will find everywhere in life. What do I mean by that? Let me take a basic example to start off. If you're pitching a business, there's lots of advice about using a storytelling structure. In the beginning, your client is beset with problems. In the middle, they discover your product, and by the end, it's happily ever after. Your product has solved your client's problem. That's a basic example, but let's get a bit more original than that. Let's take the idea of a crescendo. Say you want to write a short story that slowly builds to a climax, or you're writing that crucial chapter in your novel. You can find this pattern of a crescendo in many surprising places in life. I want to take the example of my sister's wedding. So Claire and Rich, I hope you don't mind this one. The reception, it was a large hall um, split into three sections by curtains. So at the beginning, everyone comes upstairs to the bar area, they're having a drink and wondering what's lying behind the first curtain. The curtain opens to reveal all the dining tables and then when everyone's just finished dessert, they're wondering what lies behind that final curtain. And as that curtain is drawn, um, the band is already playing and they reveal the dance floor. Let me give another example. I'm a big sweet tooth. Uh, so when I go to a restaurant, I always see the dessert as the most important part of the meal. And for me, that is the big climax. So that's something I have in my own mind um, when I go out to eat. I have that sense of a crescendo. Maybe that won't work if you're more of a savory person, but definitely that's how it works for me. A crescendo comes in many forms, but you can see that it's a similar pattern. By closely observing real life, you'll come to grasp the intangible secrets of pacing, moments of revelation, that build up through both surprise and repetition. The beautiful thing is that your creative practice and life start to overlap. By writing a piece with a crescendo, you start to see that pattern in the world. And by seeing that pattern in the world, you can portray it more beautifully in your work. I want to finish with an action, something that I have found fun before. So if you're up for a challenge, I'd invite you to take a Saturday and to structure it as a crescendo. Think about arranging your activities so that they slowly build up to a high point in the evening. And as a bonus, think of throwing in a slow movement, just like a symphony. So maybe that's chilling out in the park, uh, taking a long shower, whatever works for you. The fun part about this exercise is that you start to create your life in the same way as you would create a piece of art. So try it out. If you enjoyed this video, I release new ones every Friday evening, UK time. You can subscribe and share with friends. I'd also be really interested to know what kind of Saturdays you managed to create or anything um, you would like me to cover in future videos. See you next time.